Wait, is this, Wait, uh, is this how we start the podcast? We can. Okay, cool. It's, yeah. it's not going to stop. It's, it's not going to stop? I cannot figure out how to make the drops stop playing. Oh, so this is going to play all the way through? Yeah, or we can just... No, no, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's a good intro. The, um, this song uh, we've, is so bad uh, that we, uh, we noticed it during uh, Gabe and I's... Um, uh, whatever review <laughs> it was on like, at the coffee shop we were at and um it really it really affected our uh, ability to have a serious <laughs> a serious uh review and now i don't know what's happening ade has lost his marbles okay uh welcome to episode nine ten i think it's in episode nine nah episode nine um, we are going to be discussing the best brands in Texas. So oh, I'm recording my screen. I forgot to bring the girls back up. Hey, girls. Um, the ladies. Uh, the best brands in Texas. And and so what we want to do is is basically, I think the first thing that's important to do is, hey, Katie. Um, I think that we should define, this would be fun. Let's do this spur of the moment um, without, without a, so, so what is brand, right? That's the question. That's what we do every day. Um, but I think it'll be fun to ask everyone on the team how they would describe brand or branding. So I'm going to start with Chew. Yeah, Chew. Yeah, Linda's like, don't, don't, don't pick me. I didn't pick you first, Linda. I didn't pick you first. That was my gift to you. I wanted to. But I'm going to pick Chew. And then I'll go to Malamud, and then I'll go to Linda. Oh, what about so Gabe, since Gabe isn't 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 a, a quote unquote designer, but he does. I mean, social media, writing, all that is branding too. Let's go to the Gouda machine first. Gouda maker. Okay. What is what is a what is a brand? What is a brand? <laughs> <laughs> is there a camera on Gouda? Yes, there is. Good, this good, one. good, good. Good. Okay. Yeah. Good God, I was not ready for that question. Oh, no, it makes it fun. Huh. We could, what if we? What if we? No one knows, and then we found. Turns out we've got this branding agency, and nobody. No one knows, knows what branding, what branding is. is. Yikes! Yikes! It's all a scam. <laughs> I think a brand is. Do you really want me to answer? Yes. Yeah. I think it's the. I think it's a. It's a company's name, colors, logo, uh, voice, yeah. the copy. All absolutely, that. Sweet. absolutely, it is. Uh, okay. Uh, Chewbird. And it's also the emotion you feel whenever you think about that brand or how you feel. That's a great answer. Yeah. Bad mood? You're, you're, a, oh, you're a mute, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, I, you have to be a mute. Sorry. Uh, am I? No, no, I meant on here. Uh, uh, my fault. I, uh, ignore me. I mean, for what a brand is, it's the visual identity, it's the voice, and it's really the perception of like, who you're trying to sell, like what's the feeling that somebody gets when they see your brand or see your product. That's kind of an intangible asset or intangible thing that represents a brand. That's a great answer. Ho? I really liked what David said about visual identity because it sounds really professional. And <laughs> uh, I feel like a brand is how it like, connects with the world and how the world connects with it. Linda, that might be the best answer. I, that might actually be the best answer. Uh, now you did have the benefit of hearing three other people first. <laughs> uh, I always tell clients or, or when I'm on, like when I talk to someone for the first time and they, they say, I, I, what is branding? Or they ask me, I, I always, the simplest answer is the, the, a, a, the feeling. It's a feeling. It's the feeling you get. Um, when you, when you pick up the bottle, when you, um, pick up the bottle, why was that my first choice? Jeez. Pick up the bottle? Pick up the bottle. Well, I could have said anything. I could have said, you know, slide on the shoes, smell the, 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 uh, aroma of the store. I could have said, you know, feel the, the fabric, but I said, pick up the bottle. <laughs> Jeez. I was thinking about a shiner. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, which is a good segue into the best brands in Texas. Um, I think that Texas is is awesome. 
a uh, very, very uh, unique state, and it's produced a bunch of really, really iconic special brands. And so why don't we all, um, since we make this up as we go along, which um, you'd be surprised at considering how professional and well-polished and produced this, this piece is, um, can we all kind of, while I'm rambling on, think in your head what you think is the most iconic Texas brand? Okay, and we've, we've talked about them a little bit on the side, and you guys know. So I know go into your head right now and, and think about what you think the most. And, and then the audience listening at home, all the, the, the tens and tens of people that are listening to the podcast or um, watching this on YouTube, you guys think before we, before we say anything, what, when you think Texas, what brand um, resonates with you the most in terms of you know the words, the way we defined it, by feeling and connection and... Um. Yeah, feeling and connection. I think are probably the best ways to describe it. Who's got one? Who's got one that they've they've been cooking on and and they they feel strongly about? And Holton's in the corner too, so we can call on Holton. <laughs> okay. Anybody got one you want to jump in with? I got one. Okay, go for it, Guto. Um, I I think of the rodeo. Oh, Ooh. oh, which so the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo or the Rodeo? Just yeah, rodeos in general. But I, I think of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo right. as being like. But if you were like in Fort Worth or something, you could you could you could say whatever rodeo that is. Mm. Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is a really good one, and one that, that it's world. Yeah, that's world. a really good one, Gouda. Yeah, I mean, talk about a brand. I cannot stand that logo, but it's iconic. H. That goofy H with the cowboy. Boots. That was going to be my next point. Was that it's such a bad logo, but it's what I. It's <laughs> oh yeah. I if think you change it. that logo, like if 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 we got hired to do the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, and we changed the logo, which I don't even know. I, I don't think I would do. I wouldn't change it. I would probably say let's not change it, because if you did change it, you would get roasted. People love that. I agree. I agree. Yeah, Jeff would agree. <laughs> I Jeff's, agree. Jeff's not here, but he would agree. We tried to isolate Jeff's laugh, but... Um, I'm, I've almost got it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, a, good. a little piece of it. Yeah, yeah. A lot, several people have pointed out that without Jeff's laugh, the podcast just doesn't have the same gusto. Um, okay, I think that's a great one to start out with. Uh, Chew, Ho, Mood? I got one. You show that? Yeah. Waterburger. Waterburger, yeah. Waterburger, awesome. Waterburger's awesome. got to be in there. Hey! Sure. Hey! Oh, I like your colors. Hey. And here comes, the, here comes the ACD herself. The brand... Badass of them all, Sarah Hudson. Sarah Hudson's gonna pick something like she's gonna pick Can like Kylie's lip kit. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Texas iconic brand. I don't know. Yeah, you can share with me. Oh, okay, you're gonna share with Adam. Yeah. Although she likes to interrupt a lot, so we have to share a mic. Probably yeah. better. So yeah. I are, we, are your backs up, right? Uh, no. You're half vaxxed? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm all vaxxed. So together, we're 75% vaxxed. Okay, um, so we got Whataburger, we've got Houston Livestock Road. Basically what we're doing, Sarah, and I'll let you noodle on this, although you won't need any time because you're such a quick thinker. Um, we're all going to nominate one, Texas yeah. brand. <laughs> Lone Star Beer. Get in there. Lone Star Beer. Oh, why? Yeah. Uh, I think it's been around for a long time. I don't think the branding's changed much, which I appreciate. Am I loud enough? Because I, no. I think it stands the test of time, and... It's a good cheap beer. That's it. National Beer Texas. Yeah, I think that's really good. Um, I think Lone Star is a, is a great answer. Maybe you should okay, maybe you should sh share with Sarah mm -hmm. because you know what? When I didn't have the mic, I didn't like it <laughs> at all. It was really hard for me. It was like a baby without his nook nook. I needed the microphone. It's nook nook. Yeah, isn't that what they call? Them? We n I've never, our, we don't call them with, that with our kids. I love the Lone Star uh, choice. I think I would have probably picked that myself. What else has been picked so far? Houston, or l the rodeo, i.e. the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Okay, Sarah made a terrible face at Who games. That? <laughs> <laughs> the boy. David's, the boy. <laughs> the logo's the worst. It's yeah, we talked about that. The oh, okay. it's, oh, wait, is it a hat? No, it's, it's H. A, it's, a hat. it's like a hat and an H, right? Yeah, it's like. It is, a, yeah, it's boots on there. Yeah, it's got oh, boots. Oh, it might just okay. be an H. Looks like a hat. Or, it's sense an too. orange eight. No, it's an orange age. Which could be genius. It's genius because we all hate it, which I think <laughs> is 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 branding. Um, and then we've got what? A, yeah, Whataburger, Lone Star. Um, so Whataburger started in Texas, right? I was thinking. Yeah, about Corpus that. Christi. Okay. Yeah, Corpus Christi. Uh, Ishola, you want to jump in on one? I was just gonna say the, the 
Well, you're going to have to give me a I, I, I can't hear you. I was just going to say the rodeo logo was, yeah, correct. It's the hat, the H, and the boots. Do you have a brand for us, Isho Love? Do I have a brand? Um, mm. You weren't ready for that. I wasn't. All right, slide it back. But we'll yeah. come back to you. Come back to me. All right. Back to me. Ho, Chew. Did you guys hear Ade? Like, I couldn't even hear him from here. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice got so quiet. He sounds amazing with the headphones on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the voice of a guy that would put you to sleep, right? Well, I would say, I wouldn't say put you to sleep because that makes sounds like he's maybe boring or going to kill you. Soothing, like an NPR guy. Yeah, yeah, like that. Okay. okay. Um, H-E-B. H-E-B, got to be in there. How, how, like, how thinks you, you stole it? You stole hers. <laughs> Here, everything's better? Here, everything's better. I'll, I'll tell you a reason why, because my sister came down to visit from California, and she she grabbed, like, five bags of H-E-B tortillas because they're that good, and she's rationing them in California right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yeah, I think H-E-B is going to – H-E-B is, is, is un, unreal. My wife is from San Antonio. I have some buddies from San Antonio. And I, when I first met them, I was like, why are these people so weird about a grocery store? I mean, they are so loyal. They're so intense about HEB. Um, and I, I think it's starting in San Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Um, and they're just, they're weird about it. And now though, now that it's invaded Houston, I think it's the same in Houston. I think Houston has adopted it, you know, and it's so funny because you have decades and decades of, of Randall's and, and uh, Rice, Epicurean, and all these little grocery stores that they did connect with people. Um, but 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 HEB just takes it to a totally different level with the customer service. I mean, I went in there to get to get um, balloons for one of my kids' birthdays. And they were, like, tripping over themselves to help me. And in my head, I was like, why is these people in this balloon department so helpful? And then it hit me. I was like, oh, I'm an HEB. And that's the difference. Like, it, it's just the customer service is just, like, on a whole nother level. Oh, but yeah. also, like, their private label stuff. <laughs> and their Like, their brands. Yeah. It's really good. It is really good. Oh, their ice cream. The, the Creamy the, Creations. Like, ice cream is <laughs> yeah. amazing. Yeah, the Creamy it Creations. It beats out Bluebell every single time for me. Oh, Bluebell. Mm. That's another brand. Yeah. Yeah, um, they, had a, they had a bad... They, had, they did have a PR. They did have a PR. Yeah. Or whatever it was called. It keeps happening. It keeps happening. What happened again? How did that I heard about it a couple of times. So it's okay. I think I think Linda is. Spread. Did you Did you guys address the um, like the edit to the old podcast about how Cinnamon Toast Crunch had a shrimp? We did not the address cereal. that. We did not. I think that should be deducted. Do you think that should hurt Cinnamon Toast Crunch that it had a Cinnamon Toast how shrimp? Dare, how dare you? I would have just eaten it. It been salty and sweet. It would been delicious. Linda, I mean Sharon, you would have eaten it. <laughs> nice, nice, yes. That's a great Jeff laugh. Nice, yeah. That needs to happen very often. That needs to happen very often. Um, especially when I say something that isn't funny. That would really help it help out. Okay, uh, Linda, do you have one? No, I was going to say H-E-B because it's like something that you touch every day or have the possibility of touching every day. Yeah. And they support local mm -hmm. and they have um, Texas-shaped tortillas, which like, where are you going to get that anymore else? You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. They own and yeah, own like um, Sharon's sister, I stockpile kolaches from H-E-B and I bring them back to Colorado because I can't get kolaches there. Oh. Like the ones that are in the refrigerated section? Yeah, they're like frozen kolaches. They're, they're like good. really small, but they do the trick. Does HEB own Central Market? Yes. God, that's unreal. It's it's only, there's only two Central Markets, right? Uh, I think one, one here, here in Houston Austin. and one and one in Dallas. I think there's one in Austin. Hmm. So then there's might be three. Really, there's um, only that many Central Markets. Yeah, there's not. There's a not lot. one in San Antonio. That's a little shocking. I don't know. They're Maybe. all they're always crazy packed. Uh, is Whole Foods a Texas brand? It's an Austin brand. Yeah, they started in Austin. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know if they were just headquarters. So, Whole Foods there. and Central Market are both Texas brands? Whole Foods mm -hmm. is a really good brand, too. That doesn't sound right. It is. Okay. It is. They're fact, fact checkers? I the gun with my Lone Star nomination. No, I think, oh, I, I think Lone Star is great. Um, Linda, you still going to have to come. You, you're going to, so you want a second. You want to put more 
support behind HEB rather than come up with your own? Uh, yes, absolutely. Wow. I love it. I love it. It's a bold move. But Whole Foods a bold, Market a bold woman. was founded in us. <laughs> what about Central Market? Checking. I mean, I assume it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it sounds right. It just it seems, I don't know. Holt? You want to you want to get some get the mic on? I can't hear. Get closer. Hey everybody. <laughs> okay. Hey dudes. Okay, it started in Texas. It's across the southern region, but Bucky's, y'all. Yeah, Bucky's. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Oh my god. No, no, no. We hadn't said that yet. That was like the first thing I thought of. Like. <clears throat> the billboards, the voice. How do people have freaking bumper stickers of a rest stop, y'all? Mm-hmm. Like, I knew that I was Bucky's loyal. Like, so many people are. And it's hilarious. Like, for their clean bathrooms. Like, just that they were able to build a whole brand around this. Just that beaver face. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. But that's so. that means it's so successful. Yeah. Like, they're just so good at their voice. Like, their, their clever copy. They were just churning out merch like crazy. Like, I bought a freaking swimsuit with Bucky's face on it. Like, <laughs> that's when I knew. Like, oh, my God, they happened to make, they made this cute little swimsuit with, you know, this checkered, like, rainbow Bucky's face on it. And I was like, okay, sold. I don't know. They, they did it. They did it on me. I never thought I could, but. They have really good snacks. Too. Yes, they do. They have Ranch and saltines. Yeah, I think I think that the 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 sticker the the sticker test is always a great test. It, if you're gonna put a sticker on your car of something, it's funny how little it has to do with the 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 actual product or the brand, and how much it has to do with the person putting the sticker on. Like, you feel connected to Bucky's, you feel connected to. I mean, Yeti, same thing. Yeti's a Texas brand, and Yeti is. I mean, those are coolers. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a you know, Bucky's is a rest stop. You know, uh, it, it it has very little to do with the actual product. Central Market is owned by HEB. Okay, <clears throat> so double Texas brands. Um, yeah, and those are really really strong. I uh, have, oh, Ishala, have you got one yet? Yeah, right. Bucky's okay. Um, <clears throat> and it should be pointed out that we I did find like a uh, there was a big over during March Madness there was a big um, Texas. <laughs> Texas um, uh, brand bracket, but I think we're covering most of those. And I think that I think that um, one that's on there that I, I is a Texas brand, but I feel like has has turned into a national brand is Dr Pepper. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wouldn't consider that a Texas. I mean, even brand. though it, it started in Texas, I agree. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, because Kevin, my buddy Kevin, will always stop in, and I forget the town name. Plano. No. <laughs> no? But you got to put some sugar on those. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, it's not Plano. It's uh, Dublin, I think. I think it's Dublin, Texas. Oh, for the Dublin Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Yeah. And he, get, and he gets those, and he says they taste different. They're, just, They're with real sugar. They hit different? Is that what the kids say now? Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> I don't even know Jeff's on this. Like, I don't even see him on the screen. I just hear his laughter. He's not. Where is he? he there's just his laughter. He's not here. He's on vacation. That's a soundboard. Yeah. No way. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. Oh, oh that's else so is perfect. That? I thought he was on the call. You did? I was really confused. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. We, I was like, why isn't he speaking up? And my dad was like, look, Adam, I, lo- I really like your podcast, but. You cannot underappreciate uh, Jeff's laugh. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> we need to. Do you remember when there was a phase online when they had soundboards that you can use your keyboard and it was like different voices? I don't. You know what I'm talking about, right, Gabe? Yeah. We should make one with Jeff. So it was like a Christmas. I'm like giving all our ideas out ah, live on this podcast. That but is a good idea. That would be really funny. So that you could, yeah, give out Jeff's laugh and. and People used to do those prank calls with those soundboards. Remember, they'd pretend to be like Arnold Schwarzenegger oh, or like yeah. Sylvester Stallone. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. He does give a lot of affirmation and he like he keeps the conversation rolling. Um, and just to go over something we may have missed, Mary Kay, Imperial Sugar. Mary Kay is a pretty good one. When you see a little pink car driving around, Hell no, yeah. little, they're like the Lincolns, Hell right? Yeah. I saw one the other day. You they're know. a Texas brand? 
I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that. But they are. But I guess that's the question. What do you think is a Texas brand or like represents Texas yeah. versus? No, no, like that's a, not. Yeah, I want to be clear. That's a good question or good point. To it's not how cowboy you are. It's how good a quality of a brand it is. So it doesn't. It could be. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I mean, Bucky's really isn't very like Texasy. No. Like they don't like mm-hmm. Buck. It's not like he's got a cowboy hat on or anything. Even Whataburger. I mean, yeah. I mean, they have certain foods that are like. I mean, not really. Can I really yeah. quickly bring up Jump in here. this one particular billboard for Bucky's that it always makes an SNI laugh, and I hate it and love it because it's so asinine. It doesn't make any sense. It's it's risk it for the brisket. Yeah. Risk what does it. it mean? What are you risking? What's happening? You're risking getting to where you're supposed to be. You're risking be showing up a little bit later. Yeah. You're Making good time. Up. Making good time. Making good time is important. Never got During that. COVID, you're risking walking into yeah, the that makes for it sure. Yeah, risk risk yeah. dying for brisket. Uh, no, I know they're ridiculous. No, the best. The, what's the one? Uh, number number one. What is it? It's like get gas. Get gas here. That's it. Yeah, I think it says get gas here. I thought you were gonna say the do you guys be- the actually, beaver balls? No, like, not the not the beaver nuggets. Do you guys yeah. actually get gas <laughs> oh, at Bucky's God, though? David, like, do you get gas at Bucky's? I beaver feel like- balls. All right, dear lord, what? Will you just hold on? You get gas at Bucky's? Do you just go for the like, grocery? I go in to go to the bathroom and get snacks. I don't think I've ever gotten gas at Bucky's. Why? Maybe once with Tyler. It's just convenient. Yeah, and I think yeah. the gas places are good and super clean bathrooms. All right. Why wouldn't you get well, gas? Well, I go for the bathroom. But why wouldn't you stop? To get, why wouldn't you get gas while you're there? Because I don't need it. I'm usually risking it for the brisket. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well done. Well done. Um, Pluckers is on here. Uh, obviously, it's not. Pluckers is, is really good, and, and but I don't think it's on this level. Shipley. Academy. Academy. That's a good one. And nice. I- Igloo. Igloo and Academy. Oh, wait. Yeti. Oh, Igloo and Yeti. Yeah. Is Yeti, Yeti from? Yeah, no. yeah. Yeti is Austin. Yeti is a good. Yeti yeah, Yeti's, is Yeti's good. amazing. Yeti. It's known far and wide now, I think. I don't know. Yeah. I I, I used to be friends with the, 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 the girl whose brothers started it. Uh, really nice. Really nice gal. Um, I guess that's a, I guess that was like me name dropping. I don't know. I didn't mean to. Um, I will say, since I haven't said mine yet, I would say Shiner. Um, I think Shiner is, at least for me, was always kind of an iconic brand. And when I got into design and branding and everything, Shiner's branding, their copy, their everything um, was like, I was obsessed with it. And that's why I was obsessed with McGarry Jesse. I was too at one point. I'll admit that. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, when but they, I, I've like not cared about it as much lately. I feel like they've kind of. I was going to say that. I was, which is why it. I didn't say it. I I know, and I wasn't. I was actually wasn't going to say it, um, but because uh, because there was only so many spots left. Now you know, McGarry Jesse doesn't do Shiner anymore. I think I knew that. Yeah, yeah. McGarry Jesse, and I believe they stepped away one. from it, and then I think maybe the Richards Group or somewhere in Dallas took over Shiner, which. Um, I think was a huge mistake because McGarry Jesse helped build that brand and Whataburger and Yeti and Costa. Is it Costa? Costa. Costa. Is that a Texas brand or yeah. just? I would. I don't know. I don't know either. I would think it is because McGarry Jesse has it, but I don't know if. That's a great question. Yeah, that is. Um, okay, so in our in our in our bracket, we've got Bucky's, H E B. Whataburger, The Rodeo, Shiner, and Lone Star. Everybody pick one to remove. Oh, Chu. I'll start. Yeah. The, the Rodeo. Yeah. Gabe's going to eliminate his own? Okay. All right. I agree. Okay, so Rodeo's out. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be, <laughs> yeah, Jeff's going to love that. <laughs> He's going to feel very, very represented. All right, so Rodeo's out. So who's the next one get removed? I think we've got, oh, H-E-B, I didn't mention H-E-B. So H-E-B, Bucky's, the two beers, and Whataburger? Mm-hmm. I'll take out Lone Star. I don't think. Really? I love no it, way. but I don't think it's the winner. <laughs> 
Don't no, stop don't. it. Don't you dare no. stop it. It's, it's just, the only way keeping this podcast alive. Um, Katie, which one would you take out out of those? Get him to do more, please. Oh, we're, we're trying to narrow it down. More of voiceovers. So we've got the beers, Shiner and Lone Star, H-E-B, Bucky's, and Whataburger. So we got a vote I for agree. Shiner. You just said Lone Star. Oh, I agree with Shiner, too. I was between the two. Oh, I was going to say Shiner as well. Are they still produced in Texas? Yeah. yeah. Shiner, Texas. I don't know. Shiner, Texas, Linda. And that's when I got married five minutes away from the brewery. How do you say the brewery name? Spetzel. Nice. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but it sounds right. I was going to say that. Spetzel. David? Hmm. So we got Shiner, Lone Star, H E B, right? Whataburger. And Bucky's. And Bucky's. Oh. I'll do Shiner. As well. Okay, so Shiner's out. I, I was, that's enough votes for Shiner. And would Lone was, was it between the beers for you, Linda? Are the beers the weakest for you? Uh, mm-hmm. I think you guys are right. I'm shocked. But I'll 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 accept. So now we've got Bucky's, H E B, and Whataburger. I feel like we've got the really big powerhouse Texas brands. That's really hard because they all have loyal people. So loyal. And they're pretty known nationally. Although I don't know if people know about H E B like they do Bucky's and I don't think they know I don't think they know about Whataburger or or oh, Bucky's people nationally. Know about Whataburger. Yeah, Whataburger's in Alabama, Mississippi now. Yeah, like, yeah but not like not like oh, it is. They're getting one in Colorado. I'm so excited. Hey. Oh, look at that. There's Renee. Yeah. Oh, you can see him. He wants in. Let him, let him in. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Do we eat that often? I hope that like one day we have a call. Does Jeff know it's made? Does he know that we, y'all did that? I don't think so. During the next like team call, you need to have that connected somehow oh, and just have it start yeah. laughing and Jeff's going to be like, what? Freaked out. Yeah, that's a great that's idea. Like, and Jeff would really appreciate that. He loves practical jokes. Oh, yeah. We don't do any practical jokes around We got to do a good practical joke for his birthday. I'm going to start thinking he about it. He loves practical jokes. He'd, he'd go into my computer and just change my desktop. Yep. Just put something super inappropriate. Yep. He, one time Jeff, one time Jeff... <laughs> did uh at this other agency this is one of my favorite pranks he ever did to thomas um he took a screenshot of his desktop you know with all like the folders and everything on it and everything and so he took a screenshot of his desktop and then made that his background and then hid all his folders (laughs) so that all the folders you know, they were there, but they weren't there. So he thought his computer was like frozen. He kept like double clicking and resetting his computer. And it seemed like everything was fine, except that he couldn't click on any of his folders. And Thomas like was like losing his mind. It was like getting <laughs> so, so frustrated. And all it was, was he put everything in one folder and like tucked it up in like the upper like left corner. So like you couldn't really see it unless you were like really looking for it. It was a really good practical joke. I think a lot of people are going to do that now. They should. I would do it to Tyler, but he's like a psycho and doesn't have folders on his desktop. Oh, yeah. He's a clean, you look, know, look at, look zero at, desktop, zero let inbox. Let me see. I think if, if, we're doing, guy. if we're doing a screen, if we're doing a screen capture of my screen, oh, I'm actually a little messier than usual. But, yeah, that's my situation. But typically. no, this is pretty clean. All right. All right. So um, I say that we all, um, we're going to do a vote. We're going to do a final vote here. Okay. We've got three. Um, and we're going to either digitally raise our hands or we are going to raise our hand. If you're in person, you raise your actual hand. If you're in the digital space, raise your digital hand. Okay. We've got H-E-B, Bucky's, and Whataburger. Linda, I didn't... What are you raising your hand, Linda? Linda, stop raising your hand. Okay, ready. Uh, uh... Everybody voting for Bucky's as the number one Texas brand. Please raise your hand now. Okay, so Bucky's comes in third. Now, H E B. One, two. The most iconic Texas brand. Yes, the the best. No, no, not the most iconic. The best. Best. The Over. best Texas brand. 
Huh? H-E-B. This is for H E B. H E B. One, so, two, three, four. Sharon. I was oh Oh Linda. Sharon. And Sharon. Oh, okay. So it's H E B. I almost went H E B, but something about Whataburger uh, just for me it's Whataburger. Felt, yeah, something about Whataburger just feels H E B's like when you think about what best stands for. Yeah. H-E-B's got that empathy, you know, they're all about their employees. They're not allowed to accept tips. Did you know that? Yeah, it might have the, because when it comes to service, because that's part of a brand too in many ways, mm-hmm. like, I mean, but you know, we go to Water because Whataburger can have really good service, especially in smaller towns. Mm-hmm. Uh, not, and sometimes. But not no, 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 no. I said it can. I didn't yeah. say it does. I mean, but, but you like every Wednesday after softball practice, Poppy and I have this new tradition where we go to Whataburger. And it's like her favorite restaurant. We get a Dr. Pepper shake. We sound like a real. Oh, they're, like they're real. cute. They are amazing. We, yeah, it's a very. This is a very Texas tradition. I'm realizing. And we pull up and we get it. And I let her sit in the front seat. Do you get burgers or just shakes? No, no, we get burger. We get a whole meal. And then, but the lady at the counter, um, or the the whatever the checkout lady. I mean, she is so sweet, and she calls Poppy beautiful and asks her about practice and it's like so sweet and so thoughtful and so you know you know i think it's also your personal experience you know yeah anybody from san antonio would be saying h-e-b right now h-e-b has a really great app they have really great curbside delivery whataburger has a kind of a good app but it's kind of janky Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you should get the app though if you're going weekly you should get the app i should get the app yeah because you can get points then you'll get your burger for free I really yeah. four visits. I'm all about apps. Yeah. You are. You all. You have all the hacks. All the app hacks. Um, well, great. I think this was good. I, and we arrived at a, a, a conclusion, which I appreciate. Tough decisions you have to make in life, and 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 H E B is the winner. I agree. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think that Jeff would have disagreed. Actually, to be so. fair, no way. <laughs> That feels that's on brand. Did y'all pull that from a podcast? Yeah, they did a great I'm just job. like amazed. Like, yeah, I, I think we need to give a special shout out to to Ade and Gabe, our engineers. They do such a good job with the podcast. They make it sound and look legit, a lot more so than it actually is in real life. So I really, really appreciate them. Uh, thanks to today's sponsor, Southern Star Brewing, which has one of the most iconic Texas brands, Southern uh, Bombshell Blonde Beer. Um, uh, Definitely, you know, not a, not probably in the top five most iconic, but the Bombshell Blonde's pretty freaking iconic. And where to buy it? Where it, to buy it? H E B and Total Wine, another uh, yeah. dark horse brand. Is that owned by H E B? Total Wines. Total Wines is like from up north mm-hmm. or something. Oh, I've, looked, okay. I've looked into it before. Okay. Specs is Specs a Texas brand? It is. Yeah, Specs, Specs is, is a good, good one. Specs too. is a good one. But it's mainly Honorable like Houston. Houston. I think so. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so we'll give this we'll give this uh, to Southern Star Dave and the and the squad, and um, yeah, join us next week when we are going to talk about. I've got one more. <laughs> I've got one more. That's Jeff like, yeah. drop coming. Just okay. hang tight. Okay. Okay. Um, next week, let's uh, I, let's discuss. We're going to start our new theme is going to be best brands. Um, this time we chose Texas. Next, it could be um, a- airlines. Fast food, uh, slow food. I think Southwest is not a Texas brand. That's also Southwest is a great Texas brand. It's airlines. So. Is it not the only major airline? I'm sure it is. Yeah, unless there's some little weird goofy one. United would be a Texas brand. You Continental? Co- yeah, Continental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Continental was tight. Continental was tight, and then they merged with United, and now it's just a whatever. Just United's a, tight too, though. United is not tight. They got good rewards. <laughs> <laughs> United's tight. Nobody has ever said that, but I like that you did. Okay. You must have never been to their club. I have been to their club. Oh. I have been to their club. I'm almost exclusively at airline clubs. Nothing? Okay. All right. Well, join us next week when we discuss more best brands with the best team in Texas. Adios, amigos. <laughs>